everybody, I'm Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse, and we're here for our doodles. Now, I have to admit that I have really, really struggled with this one today. Not just what to draw, but also I struggled because knowing that my labor is not in vain in the Lord. But the thing is, I'm not doing very much labor these days. I'm in pain. I have no energy. I'm not saying this to complain. I'm just saying this to explain the situation. Um, if I eat a meal, I have to take a nap. If I work in my kitchen for half an hour, or sometimes even less, I have to take a nap. And other times I just have to sit down because I, I just literally cannot move anymore. Um, and that's really distressing to me, partly because it's not very healthy, um, but partly because I'm used to doing a lot. And then today, you know, here I am, knowing that my labor is not in vain in the Lord, and it's like, <laughs> what labor, Lord? <laughs> um, and he showed me something that was really unexpected, I guess I would say. Um, he showed me that, uh, and I'm still trying to formulate it into words, sorry, but my labor right now, my main labor, is my suffering and my grieving and the way that it is drawing me closer to Him and making me stronger in Him. That's the labor that I'm doing. It's kind of like He's having me go to a spiritual gymnasium. <laughs> <laughs> to work on these things and um, if I was if I had more energy and could do a whole lot of other things I wouldn't be able to do that I wouldn't be able to do this spiritual exercise that he's putting me through it's also labor in another sense knowing that my labor is not in vain in the Lord it's also labor as in giving birth um, the Holy Spirit, I guess you would say, is giving birth to me in a different way. I'm giving birth to some ministries that he's revealing to me and working inside me that aren't ready to be manifested yet because they're still they're still inside me. They're not they're not ready to be birthed. They're not ready to be manifested. And, um, and also he talks to me a lot through my sleep. You know, it's like, I think that's when I have the least resistance to him. And so either while I'm falling asleep or when I'm waking up and I'm just in that very groggy in between stage, that seems to be when I have my um, my guard down and he's able to speak the most clearly to me. So he was showing me that my labor right now isn't stuff that I'm doing. It's stuff that he's causing me to be. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to kind of like figure out how to say this so that none of that may make sense to you, I'm not sure. So, how am I gonna illustrate that using my, you know, very famous and talented stick figures? <laughs> um, I actually have gotten to like my stick figures, but they do still feel really stupid. <laughs> I think I see myself face down on the floor. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. Okay, and you guys, I can't get down on the floor physically, <clears throat> so this is not a drawing of how I am. It's a drawing of where my heart attitude is, I guess, right now, is that I'm on the floor, and I can't bend my knees physically, but that's how I'm going to show this, that I'm on the floor prostrate with my, prostrate with my knees bent, and... I guess my arms are on the floor too. I don't know if that looks like anything at all, you guys. 
Okay. Anyway, so I'm on the floor and and that's several that symbolizes several different things. That's a submission. And I think that's one of the big things that God's been uh, trying to work in my heart over the last two and a half years since Bill died is I am the Lord's humble servant. Do to me as you've said, or do with me as you've said. I'm not sure how, but anyway, um, that it's, this is a humble position. It, it's a position of saying, Lord, you can do whatever you want with me. And that's kind of a scary thing to say <laughs> because, um, because the things that he's already done in the last couple of years, last two and a half years have not been pleasant. But at the same time, I have every confidence that, I think I've shared these things with you before, he is omniscient. So he knew what was going to happen before it happened. He wasn't surprised. He's omnipotent. He could have stopped it, but he chose, he chose not to. He loves me and he loves Bill and he wants the best for us. And, and I say that in the present tense for Bill also, because Bill is alive. He, his body died here and he's not here on earth anymore, but he's alive um, in Christ. And, and God wants the best for us. And that's why he allowed Bill to die. That's why he allowed Bill to have that accident. And finally, that everything works together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So, I have those assurances and I also have the evidence looking back now of seeing how God has drawn me closer and closer and closer to himself and I kind of realized that was happening but I think today I really saw more of the extent of that and that he has done things that there's no way he could have done in my life and in my spirit if I hadn't gone through all of this. Um, okay, I'm not sure exactly where to put the floor here. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so I want to have... Usually we draw the Holy Spirit kind of small because, you know, a dove's not really big. I do need to really look and find out how to draw this <laughs> dove symbol. But he's he's big. He's... He's the one who's really in charge. He's the one. How does the Nicene Creed say it? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. Um, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. And with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. So the Holy Spirit comes to us. You know, Jesus said, I have to leave you so that I can send the Holy Spirit. And so... Jesus and God the Father are in on this, you know, but it's work that's done through the Holy Spirit. And for me as a Catholic, Mary also helps to work on this because she's my spiritual mother and she, um, she wants me to be like Christ. Mary always brings us to Jesus. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's, I guess that's it. Uh, but I do want to write something here because otherwise I won't remember this. Um, even though this, you know how sometimes God shows you something really profound that you know you're just barely grasping it and so it's going to just like fly away. That's how I feel. Um, God's labor in me right now. is not so much and there are you know there are some outward works that he's having me do and stuff but not much because I just don't have the energy and I'm yeah I'm just not able to God's labor in me right now is not so much outward works as inner works He's, and it's more like I'm not the one who's laboring, he's laboring in me. I'm not sure if that's theologically correct, but that's what it seems like. He's laboring in me to 
birth something in and through me. The other thing is that I feel like, and this is, almost shows this too, um, actually, it's kind of interesting, yeah, I did, that I, instead of laying flat on the ground that I'm kneeling, I hadn't really thought about this, but it's almost like I'm crawling, because another thing that I was realizing um, when I woke up from my last nap is that he's, um, it's like he's turned me into more of a child um, my faith is much more childlike right now, and it's much more, um, it's much more simple. It's not as complicated as it used to be. And I don't know if it will be more complicated again, um, or if this is where he wants me is the simplicity, but right now he has me in a much more simple state. Um, He's brought me into more of a childlike simplicity. I'm just learning to crawl. I'm just learning to crawl in my new life, in my new life. Okay, so here's what I wrote. God's labor in me right now is not so much outward works as inner works. He's laboring in me to birth something in and through me. He's brought me into more of a childlike simplicity. I'm just learning to crawl in my new life. Okay, so let's do some coloring. Okay. So before I forget, I want to do Holy Spirit in white. And you know, I know the paper's white, but I do find, and this is one of the reasons why I was looking for other crayons, is because I wanted white. I do find that as I go like this, you know, like for the background and stuff, it doesn't go so much onto the places where I've already colored. So that helps with that. Okay, and then let's see, here's my my skin that's kind of pink okay and i think a purple dress is very very appropriate because purple is penance it's repentance contrition okay i think i want to write something here too you guys so there's one other thing that i believe god was showing me today although I'm not sure this was God, okay? And I would love to have your input because maybe you can help me figure it out. I have been feeling lately like I'm supposed to thank God for Bill's death. That's really hard. I don't want to thank him for Bill's death. I am grateful that Bill doesn't have to be here with all this horrible stuff that's going on. I am thankful for that. Um, but for myself, I just miss him horribly and I need him. And apparently God knows that I don't need him because he wouldn't have taken him away from me if I did. But, and please understand that I'm not putting Bill on the level with Jesus. Bill did not save me. You know, Jesus is the only one who's capable of doing that. But God was pointing out to me, if, if this was God, I think it was, um, how we thank him for giving us his son to die for us. And no one can thank me for giving Bill to die because I did not make that choice. And I wouldn't have. You know, if God had said, is it okay with you if I let Bill die? I would have said, absolutely not. Um, I would have fought it with tooth and nail. Um, but God allowed Bill to die. 
And God loves Bill dearly, and he loves me dearly. He allowed us both to go through this suffering. Bill, about half an hour of suffering, um, and then heaven. But for me, you know, years of suffering or whatever. Um, but God allowed Bill to die. And so, and that has brought, because, because of Bill's death, it has brought me a lot closer to God. And, and it's birthing something new in me. And God knew that was what I needed to have happen in order for this to happen in me. That's really hard to accept. Um, and so the question that God's been asking me is, can I thank him? Can I thank him for giving me Bill for the time that he gave me? And can I thank him for letting him die at the time that he died? Can I trust him enough to thank him for that? And I would really appreciate your prayers for that because I know myself, I know that eventually I'll give in to God and I'll do what he wants. <laughs> but right now I'm not there. I know that I want to do whatever God wants, but I don't want to say yes, thank you for this. So if you could just pray for that in me. And if you have other insights that you can share with me about this, I would really appreciate it. Um, so anyway, so this is, here's my doodle. Okay, so the ground... I always like it to be green. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Let's see here. Get a little bit more of that crayon. I think this is my favorite set. The second set that I had. The earthy tone colors. I really like those. Those are so nice. I love this kind of green. Okay, and then for the background... I don't think I want it to be blue. I think I want it to be like yellow and pink, like sunrise. Sunrise and lots of light. those a bit. You know, something that just came to mind, I think I've shared with you about Maria Goretti and my learning to forgive the man who raped me. Um, you know, it's like, it took a few weeks, I think, of saying to that person in my heart, I forgive you and I want you to be with me in heaven or I want to see you in heaven I think is how I said it um, and I didn't mean it at first but I knew it was what God wanted me to say and eventually he gave me that heart he changed my heart to mean that so maybe what I need to do is just start thanking God and um, let him change my heart okay well I feel like I'm leaving this all on kind of a down note <laughs> But I promised you guys that I would be transparent and vulnerable and yeah, and I've got snot running down my face and so I need to get a Kleenex. <laughs> so I'm going to let y'all go. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.